Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time. Um, in this video, I'm essentially going to be giving you guys a bunch of tips on how to get amazing product photos. I know for me personally, when I was starting, I did not know these things. And I've recently, just in the past few months, have been using this and it's really helped with engagement and traction on my website. We're just literally going to jump right into it. So... I'm going to give you guys a little background on like what I used to do. So when I first started my business, taking product photos was something I really struggled with. Um, what I would actually do is I would just take photos of myself, like whatever photos I had taken on my phone, I would use them on my Instagram and then I'd also use them on my website just because I didn't know how to remove the background. Then for a few months at a time, I was actually using Canva, so I would take pictures on a flat lay so i'd either get like bristol board you can get that from a dollar store or you can go on amazon and you can purchase a um like a white backdrop a jewelry backdrop for taking photos obviously you can use it for more than just jewelry but that's what i used it for it basically was a box i'll probably insert a picture so you guys know what i'm talking about but it's basically just a box that has lights and you can shoot from the front and you can also shoot from the top and it has a little hole that you can like remove part of the piece to kind of get a better angle with the lighting and everything and I would say to invest in this if you don't have access to a ton of natural lighting and you want some nice crisp product photos I would recommend getting that and they're not too expensive I was using that for a while and I would take the pictures like on my phone because I don't think I had a camera at the time and I would literally just remove the background on Canva and I would call it a day. Now, I will say that Canva is an amazing tool to use if you are just starting out with your business, if you want like help with graphics and stuff like that. But when it comes to actually background removal on like small fine pieces like jewelry, it does not do the best job. I mean, from what I had before, like back then, that was amazing. Like it worked really well for me. But now I needed something that was a bit more professional looking you know as you kind of elevate and you grow your business you learn different things and you don't want to stay where you were you want to continuously grow so that was my mission that was my goal to find a better way to get product photos taken so I knew I could use Canva but it wasn't the best I knew I could use Photoshop but I didn't really know how to use Photoshop like that so in my head I'm like okay well let me look to see if there's companies that could do this and there are there are a bunch of companies that actually take photos for you and they'll edit them and all that but the cost and the price for that is very very expensive so i literally reached out to some people and never heard back from them other people they'd have quotes on their websites and i'm like that's not within my budget range right now so what i did and what this video is going to be about is how i got my product photos looking like this to this now these are both the same photo one has just been edited and one has not been edited and I'm going to show you guys how I step by step did all of this and did it in a very very affordable way so we're just gonna jump right into it the first thing is first I did use a camera so you can use your phone if you don't have access to a camera but I would say try to get someone who maybe a you know or maybe like a friend who has a camera or invest in one yourself because it will help you in the long run when it comes to taking photos so the camera that i use is a canon rebel t3i i will say the quality isn't the best but it works for what i need to get done so i use that and then i also used a white backdrop so i will say try to invest in that as well because it does help if you don't have access to natural lighting you can also opt for like bristol board or like just a white background from like the dollar store honestly you don't have to break the bank for this and if you have like lights or like studio lights you can use that as well if it's already accessible to you just use what you have so what i did was i basically set up the light box it's actually my brother's i just borrow it and i set up the light box in my room and i get all the pieces that i need to shoot when i got my camera and i would go and take a picture typically when i would take a picture like if i was using shooting this ring for example it would only focus on like the front part of the ring or the back part of the ring and then the rest of the piece of jewelry would be blurry and I would never be able to actually get the whole ring in focus. Now I honestly thought this was an issue of like my camera and my photography skills. I thought my camera is crap, like I need a new camera. I was actually thinking of getting like a better camera just to take better product photos and I'm so glad I did enough research to figure out that like 
even if I did that my photos would probably still look the same so what you have to do or what you'd want to do in this situation is when you have a ring that you want to take a picture of for example you're going to essentially just take four to five shots of the same ring but you're gonna focus the camera on the back of the ring and you're going to slowly shift the focus all the way to the front so you're taking four to five pictures and i used my hand for this i did not have like a tripod so you have to have a very steady hand or you could use a tripod so it's a lot easier but i basically just took four to five photos and each photo was focusing on a different part of the ring so all of the photos look different later i basically compiled it and it created one clear image so i basically did that with all of my products that i had to shoot so for the earrings honestly earrings were easier because i was able to get the whole earring in focus but things like necklaces um and rings were probably the hardest and you'd want to get as many photos as possible of each part so that it can have the clearest image possible so basically once i had all my images done and i had them on my sd card i got a little converter and i got to my laptop and I downloaded all of those photos right onto my laptop um, now this is the tricky ish part that I'm gonna like do a voiceover for um, basically I used Photoshop and I compiled all of those images so when I say compiled I basically made a stack and put those four or five images that I had and Photoshop literally will blend them all together and create one clear image. So I basically did that for each product I had, created one clear image, and that one clear image was my final like raw file. So that's what I would be sending off to get edited. Okay guys, so once you have Photoshop open, you want to go from the drop down menu and click file. Then you want to go ahead and click scripts and once that's open you're going to click load files into stack so this is where you want to basically import the four to five images you took um you just want to select all of them and then press open then you want to make sure you're clicking the little check mark here that says attempt to automatically align this just makes sure everything is properly proportioned if you did shoot with your hand then you want to just select all the photos in the top or sorry in the bottom right corner and then you're gonna go to edit you're gonna go all the way down to auto blend layers and make sure all the buttons are selected so make sure everything looks the same on your Photoshop as it does on mine click OK and it'll load and basically once it's done loading it should look like this and you should have one clear file so this is the file that you want to send off to get edited and you just want to repeat this process so that's basically how I took the photos um, these are just kind of like what the images looked like honestly they looked in my opinion really bad I was like dang I don't know if like any editor will be able to bring this back to life because I thought like the photos had to be almost perfect looking but in that in reality it doesn't so those are the photos I had and basically all I did from there was I went on to Fiverr, y'all. Literally a lifesaver. As I was looking through YouTube, I was just searching maybe for like a good hour, two hours, and an ad popped up. And what was the ad for? It was for like some lady who had a jewelry business and she's using Fiverr to help with like marketing or like, um, it wasn't marketing, it was like a product development. Like she would have people on Fiverr like help her bring vision to life. And I'm like, I know the ads be, you know, listening to what you're saying and like they track your every move, but I'm like, oh, wait a minute, like this is actually such a great idea. So I went onto Fiverr and I literally just typed jewelry retouch. I'm like, let me just see what's going to pop up. And then boom, literally like a bunch of jewelry retouchers on Fiverr, they're going to give you a list, like a bunch of lists of vendors or freelancers, as I should say and they all have starting prices so some people start maybe like six dollars a photo and you get like two revisions or you know maybe like ten or four dollars a photo like it really depends and honestly when you think of the grand scheme of things like six dollars for a photo or like four dollars for a photo is a really good price because i do think investing in the photos you're putting up on your website especially if your e-commerce is so important because no one can physically touch your product no one can physically go into a store and try it on so having really nice clear images and investing in you know like photo shoots is important and i'm not saying you have to like go big or go home but like you know like ask a friend to borrow their camera or like you know 
try to really make what you have work you don't have to get the most expensive thing but use what you have and use it wisely is what i'm trying to say so basically i went out to fiverr and i contacted a few jewelry retouchers that i actually thought did a good job but basically i sent them over to a few people to get different quotes and this one person i sent a few photos to just to see what it would look like first and I liked it, but then he wasn't able to deliver. I had like around 20 more photos I needed to get edited and he wasn't able to do it because of circumstances on his end. But he was so kind enough to remove the background on all of them, which made it cheaper for me when I went to a different vendor. So I took the photos he basically removed the background for for me for free. And I went to another um, freelancer and I said, hey, like I'm trying to get these edited. And he said, okay, cool. And I got them done in just a few days and all the photos were there and it was perfect. And like the thing with this is even if you have like two different colors, like let's say you have like, like a, I don't even know, like a Cuban link chain and you have it in gold and silver, instead of taking two pictures of like the gold necklace and the silver necklace, you could just take a picture of one and the retoucher or the editor can literally just change the color for you. So you could just be like, hey, I want this necklace. Um, or like these necklaces I need them both in both colors and then they'll just charge you extra for the photo And you can have them edit it in whatever way you want you can like go on Other people's jewelry brands and see how they edit their photos or like, you know Maybe if they have like a like a shadow in a certain way and you like that and you want your jewelry pictures to look like that you can use them as a reference photo and your retoucher will basically try to recreate that for you or if you have your own vision you can tell them and they'll try to recreate it for you so that's basically how you or how i got my photos done and i honestly feel like this is such a great tip and just fiverr in general like this is not sponsored but like they have a bunch of things you can use like even if you need like rendering done like they got you for that so I definitely recommend you guys to check that out um, and I think it's pretty affordable and you can obviously talk to like these freelancers and sellers and see what price they can do because sometimes you can come down on price but yeah that's basically how I was able to get really high quality images on my website and I've gotten a lot more questions about it recently ever since like I kind of redid my website for the spring collection. A lot of people have been asking me how did you get these photos because there's a clear difference on how it looked before and how it looks now because before I would just take them on my camera and literally remove the background from Canva or I would just use pictures my vendors had and I would just ask them like hey could I just use your photos on my website and they'd be like sure. So I definitely think that this method is the best method and I hope you guys really like the video. I'm going to be coming out with more content soon and make sure you guys let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, like leave them down below and I'll try to answer them. Especially if you guys have any video suggestions, anything you guys want to see, just let me know. And hopefully I can help you guys out with that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.